Plaza over here. I don't really know what this does. General jobs. It, I'll tell you what it does. It employs, it employs three people. That's what it does. It creates magic, might, <laughs> wonderment for somebody. I'm not quite sure who. What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're checking out a brand new game that comes out as you can see today. Hey, hey the 5th of May and about like 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time is usually when these games release for myself. Distant Kingdoms, a unique blend of city building, social management, exploration and adventure gameplay. Distant Kingdoms brings a rich fantasy world to life. Help the humans, dwarves, elves and orcs of Talon begin anew in the fabled land of Inaron. Sounds wild. It's a city building game and it has different exploration aspects to it. You have four different classes of people like elves, humans, dwarves, orcs. Maybe you have to work together via trade. Let's go ahead and launch the game. All right, let's hop on into a free play joint. Boom. Got two uh, maps currently, open spaces, windy peaks. And it looks like we have four different classes, all with their own characteristics. We have dwarven, elven, human, orcish, Dwarven. Dwarves are some of the loveliest people you'll ever meet. You won't come across some more caring and hardworking people anywhere else. Family is everything to them. So much so that they treat Pika pretty much anyone as family. Okay, nice, nice, nice. You should see the family dinners. Amazing. Highly skilled in the magic and engineering, although nobody quite knows how they do it. Dwarves make excellent miners and metal workers. Their deity is Vox, god of engineering and innovation. Oh, Elven. The elves are a clever bunch. Science and education are their passion. Development is their goal, be it carrying out the research at the prestigious academy or teaching the younger generation. They're always seeking improvement. Don't let their dedication fool you, though. They're intelligent and can be very crafty. Mm, they make excellent politicians and physicians. They follow the teachings of Isilus, god of progress, and academia. Humans. The humans are socially and uh, sociable and happy, and as a result, they love a good patty. Nice, nice. That doesn't stop them from working hard, however. Historically, they are farmers and merchants, toiling in the fields and traveling to sell their wares to lucky shoppers. As such, they've certainly developed an excellent sense of humor and a taste for cider. <laughs> Delicious. Not to worry, though. They look out for those they care about. Humans make excellent farmers and lumberjacks. You just told me that. They celebrate Garen, god of fertility and agriculture. Last but not least, orcish. Orcs and big burly creatures and stronger, are, they're, they're stronger than 10 men. But they are also gentle. They're gentle giants, as can be. If there's a creature or a plant in need, orcs will be the first ones to assist. Their way with plants and animals makes them excellent farmers and beekeepers. Really? An orc beekeeper? Interesting. They are kind, compassionate. Willing to do anything to protect their fellow citizens and creatures, they worship the Nieri, goddess of life and balance. Well, you know what? I like the dwarves. Let's go ahead and launch. Okay. Now that loading screen was like a old school PS3 game. Oh my god. It took forever. All right, let's see. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. This is our area where we start. And since we're dwarves, we, we came tunneling from the earth. You can move everything around. Oh, we got a little spit. There's a spit with some food on there, some tents. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like every other medieval city building game. A little starting area. It's beautiful. All right, so let's get cracking, crack a lacking. Let's go ahead and hop into the construction tab. Here is where you go to get all of the things that are locked, unlocked. But here's all. Got some housing. Got some secondary warehouses and, and, and places for merchandise. Decorations. They got many a tabs, many a tabs, many much more, many much more tabs of pure decoration. Tis gold just got cranes and everything. It's pretty wild. The money in this game is called crescents or croissants. Ha ha ha. We're fancy. First, we're going to build a small warehouse. Let's go ahead and move this right here. I like this little angle right here. Right here, right now, brother. Uh, I say that we go ahead and we move this around right there. Okay. And then we hop into the construction. And we'll do a little marketplace, too. You can turn, uh, turn everything around using Q and E. And you can move the camera around by clicking the right mouse. Not the wrong mouse. The right mouse button. No one wants the wrong mouse. All right. Now we're going to need some peoples, some houses. And then we'll have to connect them all up. You can go ahead and hit the thing that you want. And then hold the shift key. And then 
duplicates. Ah. Let's go ahead and build a road. Got to connect these things up with the road. We got crate portals. I don't know what that does. We haven't gotten around to it. We're going to figure it out once the majesty is over with. All right. This is how we're going to start. Inefficient. Look at our little dwarf. He's moving over to build all the hooses. Oh, wah, wah, wee, wah, wah, wah. Nice. What are you going to look like? Nice. It's very quaint. Quaint, quite quaint. Quite quaint indeed. Dwarven population, a dwarven, a dwarven peasant needs. Looks like strawberries, berries, and water. Boom. Killing it. Oh, berries and water. Cornerstone to any nutritious breakfast. Nice. So in the top left, we have our, our, crescent, our croissants. We have mana. Yeah. yeah. Happiness, 47%. Total residence, 4. We are a bustling, bustling area indeed. Nothing to see here. Good. I'm glad. Lovely. So... Our storage, we have 23 berries, 78 water used by bread dwarves, elves. Oh. I like how it says bread. There's dwarves, elves, humans, orcs, and bread. Okay, 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 okay. Wood used by furniture. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. It's, things that, it's things that we can make. Oh, interesting. Okay. Now we have a research tree. No technology node has been set to focus on any kind of development. We're going to go ahead and click on the resources. First things first. It's the only thing we can do. Resource at working. Unlocking this will give you a gatherer's hut, lumber yard, water well, and all the goods that come with them. Wood, berries, and water. I mean, again, cornerstones. And it looks like we get a lumber yard, a water well, gatherer's hut. It's going to be fantastic. Let's go ahead and research it. And then it's going to unlock an entire new world for us. Pause. Why is it? What's paused about it? Don't, don't, don't pause. Return. Return. So we need to increase our residence to 10. Now, it looks like these huts only hold two people. So we're never going to reach that area right there unless we go ahead and build more hooses. Ha ha ha! Let's go ahead and flip this around. Turn around. Boop. Boop. And then we need a road to connect them because they're like, well, we can't walk on grass. What are you talking about you can't walk on grass? Of course you can walk on grass. No, no, no. We can't travel around anywhere unless there's a road connecting it. I can't express to you how many people we lost last year. Just getting lost in the tall weeds. It's understandable. We're starting to run low on crescents. I would recommend you build some houses and otherwise allow the treasury to build up. What do you think I just did there, there Ferris Goodman? Yeah, hello. My name is Ferris Goodman. Beautiful. Sound effects are wild. 62% of happiness. Everyone is just feeling good. Power packing. They pe people have already moved in. We have achieved our goal. Our quest is complete. What about our... Uh, oh. Eastgate Center is experiencing a shortage of bread. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do it. Y'all's going to get sick. All right. Cool. 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 Um. Oh. So you got to click on that and hit unlock. Oh, that's so dumb. All right, so denser houses, mining, crop farming. Crop farming seems set focus. Okay, not all requirements have been met. Okay, so, oh, so in order to unlock these, you have to plant things. You have to, like, like start doing stuff. So we need two more houses, a lumber yard, a gatherer's hut. Well, you know, I was already going to, I was already going to do that. Because we need, we need things. Now, if you scan on back, we have a little bit of a circle here. I don't know if the gatherer's hut, if it has to be around a certain thing. Looks like we have a mining node right here right now. That's kind of nifty. Dig it. So, do berries have to be around here? And everything else is kind of like non-existent to me. I have no idea what we need to do. But I can tell you what, we're, we're near some, some trees right over here, man. So, I figured why not. Go ahead and make a lumber yard. Over here. We're doing it. Now let's go ahead and make a road because they just can't figure out how to get to where they need to go. And of course, everything is not connected. 
And you know, I'm going to connect this one too, so that that way there's not, you know, such a long way to go. Oh, look at the deer. Hey, deer. What's up, deer? What's up, brother? Woo. All right, lumber yard is built. What are you doing? So it automatically just puts in three employees. Plebs. Jobs. Looks like we have lumberjacks over here, dwarven peasant codex. Now, other races will live in your town, so you'll have to worry about that kind of mess going on where everyone's going to be talking about their... The, the, the races, the clans, the, 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 their, their history. So we must learn. So we got to build two more houses in a gatherer's hut. I'm going to assume that the gatherer's hut... What is that? That's oh, the same thing. Oh, yo, check it out. Now everything is not, like, gross and orange. All it took was one lumberjack. Just a swing of an axe. But I don't see no berries. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll gather around these berries right here, brother. Go ahead, gather's hut. Knocking it out of the park. At least I hope so. Go ahead and get a road. The gather at the end of the lane. Oh, that's cute. Okay, construction. We're gonna need another hoose. Two more hooses. Nice calming game. Oh, I don't have enough cash. Oh. Well then. Attempts to plant as many resources as there is space for up to a maximum cost of 20. Alright, well we only have 28. So we're waiting for this to get built over here. Okay. Connect it. Otherwise, they don't know what to do. Let's just extend it out over this way. Looks like we need some houses, and then we can unlock that little area here. The Feast of Vox. It's the Feast of Vox. The mines are shut down for the day, and the dwarves are celebrating with friends and family. A day of celebration, relaxation, and feasting. The dwarves are enjoying a well-earned break. Well-earned, well-earned. I mean, the town just started. I mean, we, we literally are barely surviving, but yeah, sure, you deserve a break. It's hard work out here in these streets. Boom, as you can tell, as you can see. Gaining crescents. By the light of the moon. All right. So it looks like we're gathering some berries with an efficiency of 100%. This gather's hut will produce five berries every 28 days. Days remaining. Oh, my goodness. All the berries have been put. They, they're they shipping them. They're transporting them over to the warehouse. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. We need one more house. Let's go ahead. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. What I do? All right. Let's go ahead and go to the house. Great. Boom. Let's bring in some people's brother. Finish out this quest and get the research unlocked, ready to roll. How about you? What are you guys doing? Making more wood? Nice. Got 80 wood. Got 41 water. Oh, we probably need a water well. Yeah. Yeah, we probably do. Does it, like, matter where it goes? Doesn't? Okay. Tell you what. Water well right there. Go ahead and build it up right next to the warehouse. I mean, it doesn't seem like it has any kind of like, like water is abundant underneath this area over here other than, you know, obviously over here. What is this? Whoa, 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 wee, whoa, whoa. Hey, buddy. What's up with you? Look what I found. Now, this is an early access game. Um, it's not quite optimized as you would hope. The loading screens sometimes give you a little bit of a mess. Looks like that could be some sort of dungeon or mine. We, we must gather the troops. Men. We must fight. Women. Help too. We can help. Please. We need help. All right. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Boom. Got some grain and crop farms. Beautiful. We do have a mining note. Let's set focus on the mining. What do we need? Two more houses. Really? That's all I need? <laughs> you got it. Now, let's see, when it comes to the farms, requires 68 croissants. We need 90 croissants. From wheat to barley. We have a stone mine that's currently being researched. We have a crop farm. That's all we got, though. Hmm. Waterwell stone mine. Stone mine will be rocking and rolling right over top of that? Right here? Oh, that's because I'm in the build menu. That's the reason why we have the yellow. Oh, okay. Okay. It's like we have this. 
We have this hexagon unlocked. Is that a hexagon? Hold on. Hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gotcha. All right. So construction. Looks like we have to get ourselves a crop farm. Oh, look at this. The size. The size of this. You know what? Let's go ahead and we'll spin this around. And we're going to put it right up against this. Oh, yeah. What's that going to do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But. Guess we're fin to find out. And we'll have that ready to roll control to the farm. All right. Let's go ahead and put another house here, too. I don't know what that's going to do for us. And then bring more people into here. Oh, I like how it has a nice little connector, too. Gives you an idea where where, where our, our little builders are. So busy now. Get to work in there, dwarf. What's happening? Nice. One more area away. Let's go ahead and flip that up. Crop farming. It's done. And we have just enough for another hoose and another row ad. Booping you down right there. My man. And then we'll have another nice little area, a nice little row of houses. Before we have to start moving over here. I don't know if the mine is going to be taking this out over here, but we're probably going to have to build towards this area up over up over yonder. Because I don't know if we can actually like do a whole lot of stuff over here. But we'll see. Let's go ahead and hop this over. Mining. Unlock. Stone mine is ours. Seems like now we'll have to get some mid-density hoosing. Set focus. It's on. Beautiful. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. Build 12 houses. <laughs> First off, don't tell me what to do. Second off, you're right. Let's go ahead and get some stone mines, though. We need 85 croissants and 100, uh, well, 40 wood, which we have. All right. What do we got going on here, guys, ladies and gentlemen? Boys and girls, children of all ages. Looks like we got a bunch of wood. Looks like we got a bunch of water coming in. Berries. What about this? What about this? Are we, are we making crops over here? Or what, what's happening? What's, what's good? Now, can I only live in this one area? Because it seems like it's getting cut off here. How can I make this area mine? Other than just building. Or am I only allowed to be inside here? Economy, general, resources, mana, economy, monthly balance. I suppose we're, we're, we're making we're, we're making 13 gold because everything does require some sort of maintenance cost it's a problem peasants taxes peasants filthy beggars let's go ahead and get some housing and we'll build ourselves another one because I didn't hold shift knocking it out of the pack that'll knock out this is there any way we can get rid of these Crop farming. Objective complete. Awesome. Oh, I just got to check, hit the check mark. Oh, right, 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 right. Good, 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 good. All right. Come on. Give us the dense housing. Beautiful. Take this. Dense housing. We're unlocking it. Now what? Magic. Might. Fury. Baking. A windmill, a bakery, flour. Exploration. Finally, unlocking this means the tavern becomes available. You can start sending parties out to explore. It's a whole new world of magic and mystery out there with so much to see and discover. Maybe you'll find more than you bargained for. <laughs> we need 60 residents. Currently, we only have 24. Well, looks like, we, you know what? We'll set up a mana well over here. A stone mine is what it requires. And it requires 50 residents. Good Lord. Exploration, bread, required residence, 24 out of 30. It seems like it's that's a little bit easier. We'll set the focus on that one. Plus, bread's delicious. You know what else is delicious? Stone. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, so you can only build this thing on top of the stone mine. Like, it has to go directly on top of the thing. I'm like, what is going on here? Good. Get to work. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and we'll make this road encapsulating everything that's within here. Is this being built? We need 40 wood. How much wood do we have? I'm kind of like going ham. Oh, we got plenty of wood. Just like in real life. Okay, let's go ahead and get some dense. Do we have any dense housing? 
Or is it just like we can upgrade stuff? Hold on. Can we upgrade these? Alright, so we need the highest possible affluence. Unable to upgrade affluence have reached highest affluences levels. Levels of affluence. But we got stone. Stone's happening. Gathering's happening. Crops are being made somewhere, somehow, some way. Not quite sure how. Guess I gotta like. Do I have to like place field? Oh, oh. Guess I have to. Oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe I should place a field, dummy. There we go. What does that give us? Like, what does each one of these give us? Production output. Okay, okay. Efficiency of 100%. This crop farm will produce two grain every 42 days. Days remaining. Days are going quick. Just like in real life. Alright, and we can delete the field of croissants with croissants. Refund it. Grain. It's a lot of farmers. Upgrades. Additional canvas sacks. What? Larger silos. How do I upgrade? Uh, I, 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 we need these things. As a farmer's general. Ah, okay, so required goods, it requires 500 croissants, 170 wood, 90 stone, 20 tools, which we do not have. That's if we just want to upgrade some stuff. Really? Really? Okay. Increase resonance to 30. Doesn't sound like it's too hard. Ooh, ooh, can we upgrade this house? <gasps> we can upgrade the house. Oh, that's so wonderful. Okay, so now the people are rejoicing. They got bigger houses. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of these houses. And then that way, I believe, that's right, we can get four people in here. Let's pile them in, y'all. Pile them in. Get them in here. Increase residence to 30. I got 28. Oh, no. What does this mean? What's going on here? Oh, no. Try planting. Okay, so we got to plant. Oh, we got to plant these ever so often. Cost, cost croissants. Auto regrow. Automatically regrow as many resources as possible when depleted requires the dedicated planters technology. Oh, of course. It needs more technology. We need the tech. It's understandable. All right. So I got a quick question. I'm going to upgrade that. Okay, perfect. The residents, they are done. The baking is unlocked. Now we must go for might, magic, mana, destruction, chaos. I'm intrigued. All right, let's go ahead and we'll hop into all. We've got a windmill. A windmill in the bakery. A windmill. A windmill is able to turn grain into the finest flowers. Well, then this should be over up over here then. It's like I don't know which is better for your for your area. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put that there. Okay. We're probably going to have to roll over this way. And I want a bakery. Look at this. What a tight fit. Perfect. It's on the way. I just may. Do we have any grain? Used by... Or flour made by grain? Anything? Jobs? People? Supervisors? Ugh. The worst. I think we all are going to have to upgrade some things. Yeah. Alright. So let's go ahead. These are all cleared. And we just need to upgrade our houses. Enough so that we can get 50 residents to get some mana. We got some stone popping out. I do like that we don't have to worry too much about like storage areas all over the joint. Now, of course, we do have to worry about the capacity and couriers. Send grain so we have as many couriers here. And they're basically like the people that are like the little gathers. Look at all, look at all of them hanging around now. So busy now. And that's because there's no, there's no jobs. Shh, don't tell anybody. All right, so courier upgrade two. Increases couriers provided by the warehouse times two. We're increased maintenance costs. Okay, 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 okay. But what about like the overall, like what's the capacity of this joint? Oh, okay. So 5,000 is the capacity. 502 is what we currently have. I think we're going to be fine. Now, of course, you may have to like worry about travel lines and like stones coming out through here. And we got gathering coming out through here. I literally have a town in between all of the resources. So technically when they're rolling out, with the carts, people are just like picking stuff off, you know? They're like, that's a that's a delicious apple, a wonderful berry, if you if you if you may. We're gonna upgrade some of these houses over here. How much does this cost? 50? We're in it to win it. Got a lot of a lot of people. 
A lot of people. We need some more jobs. We need jobs. Jobs. World overview. Oh, okay. So we hit the world overview. and Oh, so we unlock. Can we unlock this area? It's like, I get it. I know where this is because this has the cool hand, the, the hands from the depths. But how do I take that over? And it looks like there's a settlement over here of some kind or a dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> Technology tree unlockables, realm overview. We have a realm overview. Lots of stuff that's rolling around through here just kind of gives you the, 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 the brief synopsis. I can only assume that this is going to trade. Oh, trade routes. Return the kingdom. Exploration. Oh, well, we can't explore until we have a, a party. Until we have a tavern. I mean, we can have a party, too, at the same time. Just saying. Yeah, it's like to start off, you have, you know, they, they tell you, like, hey, build 12 houses, and then they say population residence, and they're just like, we want you to upgrade all these houses to meet these levels. So this way, you don't have to, like, totally overgrow your your whole town for nothing, you know? Just build up. Yes, yes, good, 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 good. Happiness, 99%, of course, they're happy. They're so happy. They're so happy. I mean, we got plenty of food at the moment. Got plenty of berries, plenty of stone, plenty of water. We're getting some 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 flour, baked goods. I've extended these farms, just two more. It's looking a okay. We got 42 total residents, and even though it's going to make us a little low, let's go ahead and upgrade that. I know, I know, they're Fenris Graham, Graman, Graham, Graman, Fenris. Why don't you mind your own business? I'm the king. I do what pleases me. And we're making 30 croissants. I am. Shenanigans, tomfoolery, buffoonery, chicanery. Boom. Anytime, my friends. Anytime. Anytime you want to get cracking. Boom. That's right. 49. Do it. 50. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know what? I'm also going to just going to upgrade it. I mean, why why make you not look like one of the Joneses? You know what I'm saying? Who's the Joneses? Don't worry about it. All right, unlock the mana well. And exploration, setting our focus. And then after that, we'll be able to hopefully unlock a whole like tiers of, of things because we have to get a citizen tier. What does that get us? A firefighter station? A citizen token? It's a badge? It's like a sub badge? It's like, it's like we're a bunch of streamers? Very cool. All right, so now, what does this do? A mana well that taps into the land's magic and produce mana. Okay. <laughs> so when you explain it like that, I mean, I don't understand why I didn't think of that before. It's like, of course this has magic. And might. Mystery. Let's make it kind of like a shrine looking thing. Put it in dead center. Boom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then maybe we can add some decorations, you know? Let's get some decorations out here, guys. Got a nice got a nice barrel right there. Look at that barrel. That's a fine that's a fan that's a fine, fine barrel if I ever did see one myself. A, a flower garden. Who? There's a girl in the garden. Pardon me? There's a girl in the garden. Um demolish. No, no, don't want to demolish anything. Got a bucket to fill. We got bushes. We got lines of Tomatoes and a lot of tomatoes. So that's a lot of tomatoes. That's a lot of tomatoes right there. Oh, the tomatoes are just rich. They're rich with, with beautiful nutrients and fiber. Increase residence to 60. That won't be too hot. That's not going to be too hard. Oh, they built a the mana pool. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good. Let's get some houses. And since. We're not really... I'm going to keep some space open for that plaza over here. I don't really know what this does. General. Jobs. It, I'll tell you what it does. It employs... It employs three people. That's what it does. It creates magic. Might. <laughs> wonderment. For somebody. I'm not quite sure who. But we have a mana pool. I dig it. So now, we're trying to rock and roll out so that we can hopefully... We got $218. Let's upgrade this. So, duble that by two. 
Scooblay this by two. And we don't have the cash. We don't have the wood. Oh, well, we're just building exponentially, but that's okay. Because we've unlocked exploration and citizen tier. Let's go ahead and set the focus there. And my friends, that is going to be our first episode. It's a nice little city builder, town builder. Don't know what to make of some of the stuff. I think it's going to kind of open up to us. The more and more we build, the more and more things we run into. I mean, I want to see what this is all about. We got to explore this. I mean, this is wild. This, my friends, is wild. And the game comes out today on Steam. I would say like a, around 11 Eastern Standard Time AM. That's usually the times when the games come out. Oh, 89%. I got 100 mana. Again, I don't know what that is. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see more of Distant Kingdoms. That was a little autosave right there. Appreciate that. A little freezy. A little freezy action. <laughs> you. Upgrade. Silly goose. That's what's up. We're bustling. We're bustling, everybody. But folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, I shout y'all, and I'll check you out right here again in Distant Kingdoms next time.